let's say I have a variable called foo that I declare over here. So I have this first line, which declares the variable foo, and then somewhere down the road, I wanna use that variable foo, okay? Now, if I were to ask you, is this variable declaration required? What would the answer be? If the answer isn't that clear. The answer actually depends on what you're doing with that variable afterwards. This is not the case in some of these stricter programming languages. You know, in languages like Java or C++, without declaring a variable, you cannot even use it, right? You get a compilation error. But in the case of JavaScript, it's a little bit more, uh, you know, it depends on what you're doing with the variable. Now, let's say I just print this, okay? I just do console.log of foo, right? So this is a variable that I have declared, but I haven't defined, I haven't given it a value. So the value is undefined. If I were to reload and run, I'm gonna get undefined. Now, what's gonna happen if I don't declare this? Let's say I skip the declaration step and I just do console.log of foo, okay? If I were to reload and run, see what happens? You get a syntax error. It says expected expression and got parentheses, but basically the idea is it's trying to find out what foo is and it doesn't find it. It's a variable that doesn't exist, so declaration is required because without this, it didn't work, right? With this, it seems to work fine. So can I say, yes, declarations are required in JavaScript? But let me do one more thing. Let's say I remove the declaration, but rather than printing the value of foo, I say foo equals 10, okay? I'm not declaring foo, but I'm just assuming the variable to exist and then I'm assigning a value to it. Now we saw before we used foo without declaring and we got an error, right? Now let's see what happens if I run this. Well, nothing happens, which is interesting. Now let me print the value, console.log of foo. Reload and run, I get the value 10. So it turns out this time, the compiler, the interpreter didn't complain, right? I'm still using foo without declaring it, but this time the interpreter seems to be okay with it. It actually created a variable called foo, and I was able to print that value later, right? So what's going on here? The difference is in the nature of the operation. When I just did this, I just did console.log of foo, what I was doing here is a read operation. Whereas when I do foo equals 10, what I'm doing here is a write operation. So if you use a variable without declaring it, it's okay to do a write operation, but it's not okay to do a read operation. If you do a write operation on a variable without declaring it, it works fine. But if you do a read operation on a variable without declaring it, it gives you an error, okay? So this is actually the distinction between the read and the write operations. It influences how JavaScript looks at uh, undeclared variables. So that's one major difference. Now, you might be wondering if this line is creating a variable called foo, now where is this variable being created? The answer is in the global scope. But in order to really examine what's going on here, you need to wait a few more videos when I talk about how the scope hierarchy works. But remember that there is this difference. If you declare variables, you can do both read and write operations just fine. But if you don't declare variables, you can do write operations, in which case it creates the variable for you, but you cannot do read operations because in this case, it does not create a variable, it throws an error.